Welcome back to another chapter in the ongoing quest to figure out how to connect to this little box of mysteries. Okay, so you see here, I've made a little chart on what's what, and it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward actually. After you, after you, you get used to it. Um, starting at uh, terminal seven, which is twelve volts out, and eight is stop. 12 volts out, always skip the 12 volts is basically all it is. And it just counts up from e-stop. Uh, the e-stop terminal is pin 1 in Mach 3. Um, enable it in Mach 3, so you have the e-stop enabled, pin number 1. And then I'm just going to go like this. And then we jump the next output terminal, and we go to pin, pin 2, which is probe. Probe. We go back into Mach 3, and probe is pin 2, and make sure it's enabled. And then we'll go up to pin, let's say 3. Now this stuff here, this is your, this is your 12 volt common for the next four inputs. So these would have to be spliced on the input to your switch, and basically daisy chaining the inputs to your switches so if this is a home switch and a limit switch or whatever it would have it would share this distributed 12 volts so and input 3 is right here so move up to input 3 uh, reference a chart input 3 is pin 3 and mock 3 pin 4 is the next one pin 5 is the next one pin 6 is whatever switch you desire to put on pin switch or pin <laughs> pin 6 and pin 7 is pin 7 and 12 volts skip that guy he's an output and then uh, input 8 pin 8 pin 9 10 11 12 the last terminal is a ground if you this should not be connected to a 12 volt it'll burn your little controller out um, that's for proximity switches and that's about it for input ports. All right, so now we're wondering, okay, I've connected everything, and how do we test this stuff without wrecking stuff? So this has a cool feature in it. If we go from here, you'll see here that uh, I have my ports and pins again. So anyway, we'll go into here, and you'll see I have a couple couple of switches loaded up in my uh, in my controller no need to change that right now um, oh I should mention should mention this so like um, on the, on your switch there might be your switch might have three terminals or two terminals if it's a two terminal it might either be um, because I don't know what switches you're using uh, might be open or closed so you'll see no or NC Anyway, uh, so here's active low, and this also works for motor tuning, but we'll do that in another video just because I found I was doing videos and it was just getting too sloppy. Depending on how you hook up your switches, you can flip and flop this. Uh, let's just do uh, input 4, so X home, and it'll come up as an M3, I think, or something like that, M1. So let's hit apply, and we're just going to go into diagnostics, which I mentioned not too long ago. So you'll notice, okay, so I have M1 home, which is X, um, because I hit active low, um, M1 is lit up. So you'll notice the rest of the um, indicators are off or not lit up. So let's hit some switches. I'm going to hit this guy because this is the e-stop. This is very important. This is like a safety. You get your arm caught or it starts trying to drive off the or crashes. You don't want to crash stuff. So you can just smash the e-stop and, and, and everything should shut down just like that. You'll see down here your reset right here. Let's try it again just to make sure. Double check. So I'm hitting my switch and bam, we're back into reset. It's just an emergency uh, shutdown, basically. 
it doesn't shut down your program. You can always just restart it and everything else. Bring it back to zero and go from there. Um, let's hit probe. And now what should happen here is this guy should light up. And that's probe. So that's like your, your uh, offsets and stuff like that. That's auto tool setup. And now we're going to hit um, input three, which is M2 home on this guy, on my setup. And now, see, this is the one we flipped in the pinouts. So we're going to go back and just flip it back. I know this is long winded and everything else, but hopefully it just gives you an extra tool in your toolbox to make things happen. And then we have the last one, which is M3 home. This is input eight. And that was input 8. Um, that's pin 8 in uh, ports and pins. Um, I'd like to just say uh, that the uh, controllers are actually uh, metric and how to put them in metric is uh, as so. Um, this is kind of like the tip of the video, I guess. Um, if you didn't know already, uh, you go to config and you select native units. What it's saying here is do not use this to change between metric and English G code. This is for setting the units used for motor tuning. So what that means is uh, if you flip back and forth, your machine's gonna be all squirrely and be out of schwack. Um, anyway, so just click okay. Um, and if it's in inches, just make it millimeters. Um, this will be pretty much a precursor to motor tuning. All right, so that's it. Totally it for ports and pins. I don't think I could make it any longer. Well, I think I could, but anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, if you liked the video and it helped, uh, smash that like button, please, and, um, and have a good one. Good luck with uh, your inputs on your NVM. See you in the next one. It's motor tuning. Uh, it should be out very shortly. Uh, and uh, that's it. Ciao for now.